Hey everyone, welcome back to For The Record. So, a lot of you are already aware, and for, for those who are not aware, you're gonna learn, that I've been a John Fogarty CCR fan for many years for various reasons that I'm not gonna get into with this video, but I am. I have been for many years. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I was super excited a couple of years ago when John had announced that he was going to be reissuing his entire discography. Pretty much his, his entire discography. Now, typically it's not really a big deal. I've got everything on CD, got everything on vinyl. But artists do that all the time. But it, it was kind of a big deal because there were two albums that he never released on vinyl. Which, you know, for various reasons or whatever. Um, 1997's Blue Moon Swamp and 2004's um, Deja Vu all over again. For whatever reason, they were never released on vinyl until last year, 2018. I did a video, um, I believe I did a video, of um, the different variations of Blue Moon Swamp. One variation um, was, it was the Trans, translucent blue vinyl, which great pressing. It looks very, very cool. I don't think it could, you know, if it was like a solid blue, I don't think it would have been so nice. But the trans, translucent blue was really, really nice. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and then there was the standard, you know, black pressing. You know, I never played. I opened the blue, but I never, I never listened to it. I never played it. There were no extra tracks on it, so there was no reason to play it. So, um, and, and that's actually a point I want to get into for, for just one moment. You know, they, you know artists reissue um, their, or they press on vinyl and then they'll do the CD with, um, with like a couple extra tracks. And John did that with Blue Moon Swamp. And I was kind of disappointed. You know, the vinyl sales were up. I, I, I really wish instead of putting, there were I think two bonus tracks on last year's uh, Blue Moon Swamp reissue. Uh, on the CD, I really wish they would have done that with vinyl. You know, like whether it's they put a couple of extra tracks on, or they do a double album where it's you know it's the same album but it's live or or whatever. I, I wish they would have done that's that's actually one. I don't think I mentioned that in the video I did, but I, I really wish you know vinyl sales are way up, and I really wish that artists would start doing that. Not not put a CD in with the album, or reissue it with with a CD with um, with extra tracks. I wish they would actually press those extra tracks on vinyl and not on CD and that would make it even more that collectible. But, you know, that's one, one issue I had with um, with Blue Moon Swamp. It was it was a great pressing, but the vinyl itself it was no different except that um, the cover was actually a different um, a different um, version of what the uh, of what the original C D cover was. The um, they actually changed the uh, the cover which actually I really enjoyed that was a really nice really nice cover but the extra tracks I wish it would do something with vinyl <coughs> that way you know it just makes it that more desirable you know you can't get it on CD you have to buy it on vinyl you know but whatever so I'm going off on a tangent here so um, last year to today um, or early this week I, I kind of lost track of his reissues and or reissuing and I'm still not too sure, <laughs> but um, I, a couple of days ago, I think it was actually on Sunday or Saturday or Sunday, um, I had gotten a notification for some odd reason. I got an email with you know saying John Fogarty's reissue of Deja Vu on vinyl. I, I was like, what? And I clicked on it, and I completely forgot it was issued. It technically came out last year in 2018, but um, I completely forgot about it and I was super stoked and I, I literally I don't I don't think um, I shut my my phone off I think I went right to Amazon um, I checked a couple of different places a couple of prices and I always go to Amazon and Amazon's price was better so I ordered it right away and I got it just the other day okay now there's no reason John Fogarty's Deja Vu 2004 Deja Vu for the first time on vinyl see it's official it says it right there never first time on vinyl First time of great. I, I love, you know, I'm not going to do an album review. I'm just going to talk briefly about it as long as my battery doesn't die. <clears throat> but I'm not going to do an album review. If you not don't know this album, <clears throat> go out and get it. The CD, um, the album is it's a great album. It's actually even, <laughs> if I can say this, um, it's actually even better on vinyl. 
I say that because, you know, they do have bad pressings of albums. They do. <clears throat> Not every album is pressed very good. Well, I have to say, I listened to this one. <clears throat> There's nothing special about it. There's no special track, no added tracks or anything on it. But the fact that it's pressed on vinyl is, is, is really cool. Um, <clears throat> and again, I wish they would have done some extra tracks, but... <clears throat> excuse me. So, I will say this. I will say that it sounds great. There's no dis there's no distortion. There's no there's it was a good pressing. There's no extra noise. It's a really clean pressing. It sounds really it sounds sounds perfect. Okay, I highly recommend the album. Not only do I recommend the album, <clears throat> but I re recommend the vinyl edition as well because this album, you know, this this you, I never really considered this a comeback album. John basically had two. Um, career changing albums career changing I'm kind of getting bold here but I call them <clears throat> two albums that um, <clears throat> kind of um, were comeback albums okay now the first album obviously would be uh, 1985 Centerfield album it was a huge comeback for John but also um, Blue Moon Swamp was a huge comeback for him in, in, in the 90s in uh, 1997 um, two huge albums uh, but this, I, you know, I don't con this, consider this a comeback album because I, I think only because he, he's already been reestablished. He's already reestablished himself. So this is a super good album. Get it if you don't have it on CD. I especially recommend the vinyl edition. Uh, I'm not sure if there's another variation, if there's another color, but I'm going to look into that. And if there is, I'm certainly going to get it. And if you know any difference, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to look as well. <clears throat> But, really good album. I'm just really surprised, really happy at how clean it sounded. Super good. Okay, excellent. Excellent on vinyl. Great pressing. Uh, BMG did a great job. Absolutely awesome. Okay, highly recommended on vinyl. Now, <clears throat> I will say, I did want to mention briefly about the album. It's, you know, how it charted and how well it did. Again, not an album review per se. I just want to talk briefly about it. Now, for all of you that are John Fogarty fans, <clears throat> you know John loves to uh, change it up, change up uh, his albums, his music, and he is a mile long list of <clears throat> of uh, studio musicians uh, or artists, but studio musicians that he used on Deja Vu, a mile long, he used a lot. But a few of them stuck out because a few of them, a few of them, <clears throat> have stuck through the years and, and still work with him today. And a few of them I want to mention. I'm not going to list them all, but there are four that uh, have worked with with John recently and are working with him to, to you know to today that are touring with him today. The first one I want to mention is Bob Britt. Bob Britt is a, um, a, a unbelievable guitar player. Um, you can see in some of John's live live uh, videos, his concerts, Bob Britt is 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 phenomenal. He's one of the, he is such a great guitar player. He really is. Um, I think he's he's touring with like Fleetwood Mac, and he's toured with everybody. Um, and he's just a stellar guitar player. But a little a little fun fact about Bob Britt, um, he is not credited on this album for guitar. He is actually um, credited for slide guitar on Deja Vu. Um, a little fun fact. Uh, another fun fact, Kenny Aronoff. Kenny Aronoff and John have been together. Um, I mean, I mean, I, I know going back to the 80s and 90s, maybe further, but I've seen pictures of John in the 80s with, with Kenny Aronoff and, and Kenny tours with John today. And Kenny's a, you know, such, such a great drum player. He, he's a great drummer. And um, some people say he's, um, He's, he's a slammer, you know, he slams drums, but I don't agree. He's a great, great drummer. Um, and he's also tour, toured with, with a lot of musicians as well, but he tours with John to today. And uh, when I, the, the, the past few times I've seen John, uh, Kenny's, uh, Kenny's been up there behind the drums and he does a fucking killer job. Um, another, actually, I was actually, um, you might be surprised, but Billy Burnett, Billy Burnett, um, his Billy Burnett is a, is another uh, outstanding um, musician, outstanding guitar player, and Billy Burnett's 
I think his his father and his uncle um, are the two people that actually um, invented rockabilly music, and that's a fact. Billy Burnett's father and uh, his and Billy Burnett's uncle um, they founded um, rockabilly music. That's and if you see if you see Billy Burnett, if you see him. Um, you'll kind of get it because he wears like the, a, a certain style shirt and certain t style pants, but he's an outstanding, outstanding guitar player. And he, I've also seen him live with John. He's just unbelievable on stage. Um, but a little fun fact though about Deja Vu is he's not credited for any guitars whatsoever on this album, okay, that I'm aware of, okay. He's actually credited for background vocals, and that's it. Uh, another little fun fact, uh, Kelsey Fogarty, his daughter, who is uh, probably, she's probably like a teenager now, um, at the end of Honeydew, the song Honeydew, there's a, there's a girl's voice, um, and she was just a young, young, young child back then, but um, her, you hear a child's voice, that's Kelsey Fogarty. So that's a brief description of uh, Deja Vu. And... Uh, I mean, all all around the world, the the album was did great. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but um, let's see here. Um, with in Sweden, he was I think uh, it ranked number one. In uh, Germany, it ranked 61. Uh, Belgium albums it ranked third like 38 and the US Billboard the US Billboard uh, 200 it ranked 23 in the US Billboard 200 ranked 23 great album and I think that's it about John uh, and uh, Deja Vu again if you didn't get it if you have it on CD but you don't have it on vinyl it's a whole new experience listening to it on vinyl, so I highly recommend it. Now, moving right along. Moving right along. So, this past Sunday, I did Spotlight on an artist who I fell in love with. The second the needle hit the, the vinyl, the second the needle hit the record, I was in love with him. I, I, I could not believe I had not known about this gentleman. Um, I did Sunday Spotlight on Gilbert O'Sullivan this past Sunday, and... Like I said, the minute the needle hit the vinyl, I was in love, and I, I, I just love his music. So I searched and um, found a bunch of different albums, and, and I kind of narrowed it down to, I figured, you know, I'm going to go from the, the album I showed on this past Sunday was his, 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 um, his first album, okay, his debut album, and I jumped to 2019 or technically it'll be 2018 um, so I chose to pick up his latest album that came out in 2018 Gilbert O'Sullivan if you like the track listing so yes I, I, I absolutely love his music I haven't listened to this album yet obviously it's sealed but I did stream a, a few songs from the album um, when you when I bought it on Amazon you uh, you uh, um, automatically you get the album for free. So I was able to. I didn't listen to the whole thing yet, but I listened to a few songs and um, I wasn't surprised. It was great, great. I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy this album. Uh, and if anybody's interested, I will do an, an album review after I have uh, soaked in uh, this album because um, Gilbert O'Sullivan is is is, is um, doing more work in the states uh, after 43 years. And if you're interested in that story. Go to my previous video, Spotlight, Sunday Spotlight on Gilbert O'Sullivan. I kind of go into depth. So, um, yeah, I was super happy to get this. Reasonable price. Um, whenever I see a price somewhere, I always go to Amazon, and it's 99% of the time it's cheaper. And I'm not trying to be cheap, but I'm just trying to get a good deal, you know. So, um, perhaps I will do an album review in the future of Gilbert O'Sullivan's 2018 album. Gilbert O'Sullivan. Super excited. Good stuff here. So I'm um, definitely, I'm definitely, um, 
going into artists that are completely and totally new to me and uh, you know you open your mind to so much but that's it everybody I appreciate <clears throat> I've been sick if you can't tell the past few videos you can't tell by my voice but I'm gonna cut this because my battery is gonna, probably gonna die any second and um, but yeah that's it man I really appreciate everybody watching uh, new subscribers and um, welcome back Lazarus uh, welcome back I'm after six years of a hiatus um, and if you know Lazarus I'll put a link to his channel down below he's back after six years um, and that's it everybody again I really appreciate uh, the new subscribers uh, I really appreciate uh, everybody watching all your support all your kind words uh, trollers trolls just keep going um, but again be kind to others see you on the flip side peace